Best known as Kid Rock's sidekick or the hype man for his Twisted Brown Trucker Band, Joe C would meet the musician before he got famous, but his time would be cut short suffering from a debilitating medical condition. Today, we're going to take a look at the life of Joe C. Josie would be born Joe Kalaha. At a young age, he would be diagnosed with an intestinal disorder known as celiac disease. It was at the age of four he would be prescribed dozens of medications, including a steroid known as prednisone, that stunted his growth, resulting in his adult height being three foot nine. He would describe to MTV what his daily routine looked like, saying, I'm sticking to my diet and taking my medicine on time. You know, it's ridiculous. I take 60 pills a day. Right off the bat when I wake up, I take two pills. An hour later, 10 pills. Three hours later, I've got a tube in my stomach and I shoot something through there three hours later. Two hours later, I take two more, and then an hour later, 10, then shoot the tube three hours later again. He would admit to Spin Magazine he would give up his rock star life if it meant he could live without celiac disease. Josie was a big fan of Kid Rock, attending several of his early shows in 1994, as the pair recounted here on VH1. Joey was the ultimate fan. I still remember the first time we saw him at the Palladium in Roseville, Michigan. And he was standing on a bar stool or something. A friend was holding him up. I don't know what. And you could see who he was. And after the show, we were all like, hey, I see that little kid out there. Like, I can't believe someone brought their kid to the show, you know? It's not exactly a show for the entire family. Eventually, he would come to the shows, and I would give him the mic, and, he would, and I'd be like, this is crazy. This is nuts. And finally, he got backstage to meet me. I met him after the show. He's kind of tripped out. So I come downstairs and I'm like, what's up, my man? I'm like, you know, are you lost? Where's your dad? And he starts cussing at me. Man, I'm this, 21, you know, I want to rock out with you, blah, blah, blah. He, he asked somebody, where's, where's his dad? And so, you know, I was like, do you want a job? And he's like, what? And I'm like, come on, let's go. We like the party, rock the party. We like the party, rock the party. Devil without a cause. Yeah, he was always cool from the day I first met him. Now we're friends. I mean, we're... We're business partners too, but we're friends. Insane. Josie would tell Entertainment Weekly what the C stood for in his name, saying, It's just my last name, Kalaha, but it stands for chronic and chronicle, which is chronic, but it's a different word. The hype man wasn't shy, hiding his love for pot. By the mid 90s, Kid Rock had already released several albums, but he hadn't hit a big yet. In 1997, he would sign his first major recording contract with Atlantic Records, putting out his fourth record, Devil Without a Cause, one year later in 1998. It would prove to be a massive success, selling over 15 million copies. The record was notable because Kid Rock moved away from his traditional hip-hop sound, instead blending together rap rock, new metal, and hard rock. Joe C would appear on the album as part of his backing band Twisted Brown Trucker, but due to his health issues, he wouldn't spend a lot of time on the road with the band, having to bow out by late 1999. He would, however, make several high-profile appearances during this time, appearing on the South Park soundtrack and on the Fox animated show The Simpsons. Several publications noted that 1999 appeared to be the year of little people, with Vern Troyer of Austin Powers also being in the news. In fact, Joe C would reveal to Spin Magazine they were both friends and that Troyer provided important emotional support to him when he felt down about his life. In the same interview, he would reveal that he was working on a solo record tentatively titled Inquiring Size Wants to Grow. On the evening of November 16, 2000, Spin Magazine would report that Joe C, who was staying at his parents' house in Taylor, Michigan, was complaining about feeling cold and decided to call it a night. His father would find him unresponsive the next morning. He was just 26 years old. His cause of death was said to be complications from celiac disease. In a statement following his death, Kid Rock, who was obviously extremely shaken by the news, put out a statement reading, Family and friends are everything. Without them, all of the fame and fortune means nothing. We have lost part of our family. Joey gave us and the world his love. He brought a smile to everyone who has ever known or seen him. In a world full of confusion, Joey made us all laugh. No matter what color, religion, race, or beliefs we have, he made us all smile. He gave us the gift of joy. Joey, thank you. We will never forget you. We love you. MTV News would report the following year that Josie would be honored at Kid Rock's upcoming live shows, saying, we're going to do a nice tribute to him at every night and try not to be selfish about it. The first shows are going to be tough playing without him and trying to get through some of the slow songs. You know, I sang a song for him at his funeral, only God knows why, and that was pretty tough, and doing that every night is pretty much going to suck. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We'll see you again on Rock and Roll Stories. Take care.